Hello everyone and welcome to this calming and relaxing video. As it's a bit rainy outside today, you will be hearing the soothing sound of raindrops in the background. Today I am excited to share with you my third sketchbook tour. If you haven't seen my previous videos, be sure to check them out. This is an A5 plain sketchbook with a hardcover and I bought it from my local art store. It doesn't have a specific brand name and ink bleeds through the pages. But I love seeing this. Don't you also think it's beautiful? But let's start from the beginning. This sketchbook originally had a plain white cover. I used my Posca markers to make it more fun and interesting. I love how it turned out. For the black background, I used a spray paint that I also bought from my local art store. Now let's take a look inside. I would like to mention that the drawing in this sketchbook are not in order. I know it's best to keep an order and draw page after page to track the progress easily. But sometimes I draw a sketch and I don't feel like coloring it, so it sits in my sketchbook for months, sometimes years, before I get back to it and actually finish it. If you've seen my previous sketchbook tours, you know that I usually draw in a few sketchbooks at the same time. In this sketchbook, you will mostly see drawings from 2018 and 2019. I took breaks from it, I came in and out of it, I also made few drawings in 2020 and 2021. And the last drawing was made in 2023. Please bear with me, this is just the way I draw in my sketchbooks. This drawing was made back in 2018 when I had a collaboration with a travel blogger to create some drawings for postcards. At that time she was living in Morocco and she requested one card to be from there and another card from Thailand. I'm not a big fan of urban sketching and if you watch my previous videos you know that I mostly draw food. I believe this drawing is of a mosque in Morocco. Although I wasn't entirely pleased with how it turned out, the travel blogger I was collaborating with was very happy with this drawing. So we printed postcards with this image and they went to people from all around the world. This drawing was just a practice for drawing donuts with ice cream. I think I saw the reference photo on the web and I like it, so I decided to draw it. This beautiful Thai girl was also created for the postcards in collaboration with a travel blogger and it was also printed on the postcards. I'm not really good at drawing people, but I like how this girl turned out. I think she's pretty cute. And I also added some lettering to the drawing. This cactus ice cream was drawn out of my imagination for an Instagram challenge and it turned out to be one of my most popular works. I received many likes and comments and I was happy with how it turned out. This drawing is one of my favorites. This beautiful scene of a chalet on the beach was drawn during an Instagram workshop back to 2018. Here I drew a delicious frozen yogurt with strawberries and more frozen yogurt. It was back in 2018 when I enjoyed drawing from various reference pictures I found online. I also practiced a lot of 
drawing different textures like this drawing of chocolate I focus on drawing reflections, highlights and all the shades of brown in chocolate although I wasn't happy with how it turned out I still like the drawing of the strawberry this gingerbread house was created for my Skillshare course back in 2018 while working on this drawing my cat Pixie accidentally stepped on the page and left some dirt instead of trying to remove this dirt I decided to outline her footprint. Now whenever I look at this drawing, it reminds me of my silly cat and some sweet memories. I like having these kinds of moments in my sketchbooks that take me back down memory lane. On this page, I attempted to draw a very old bill from the USSR, which I still have in its original form. Let me show it to you. It's dated from 1961, a time when I wasn't even born yet. Although I plan to add a couple more bills to fill out the page, but I never got a chance to do it, so I left it as it is. This drawing was a commission piece for an online book company. It features an old, well-loved book with worn edges and yellowed pages. The company specialized in selling rare and antique books, and this piece was created to showcase the beauty and history of their collection. I was thinking of adding some lettering to this page to fill it out and make it look less empty. What do you think? Should I add some letters here? And here's my favorite theme to draw, Christmas time. During this time, I love to draw all sorts of holiday theme illustrations, from festive food and drinks to cozy winter scenes. It's such a magical time of the year and I find it very inspiring. I also enjoy creating handmade Christmas cards for my family and friends. It's a fun way to incorporate my love for drawing into the holiday season and spread some joy to those around me. This is another commission piece I created for a company that sells cosmetic and natural products such as massage oils and bath salts. I really enjoyed working on this piece. This drawing is one of my favorites in this sketchbook. It's so realistic with all the details. I like all the reflections that can be seen in the bottle. And also the coconut. It was challenging to draw the white part that is inside, but I like how it turned out. This drawing was also created for the same brand. And here are some sketches of the windows. I think I created this piece during a workshop with other artists. And more Christmas sketches. This particular sketch was created in 2020. And you can see how I jumped from the sketch made in 2018 to this one, made two years later. This heart-shaped pizza drawing was super popular on TikTok and I got thousands of views. I received so many comments on it. I actually cooked the pizza first and then drew it. You can still find this video on my TikTok account. I don't post much there these days, but the video is still there. The heart-shaped theme continued with this part of sketchbook which I think was related to Valentine's Day, where I drew various heart shapes. In this drawing, I was practicing how to draw foil balloons with a gold texture and highly reflective surface. This is some kind of Christmas tree. And more Valentine's sketches. I really like this watermelon. 
it looks so fresh and summery that I feel like taking a bite of it. Hermit crab. I was overwhelmed when I found a picture on the web of a hermit crab making a plastic cup its home. It's sad to see how these little creatures are struggling to survive among the pollution caused by humans. I was so impressed by the picture that I decided to draw it. I like how the skin of the crab turned out with its various colors and shades. I was really proud of this drawing back to 2019. In this drawing I challenged myself to capture the complex waves and splashes of wine. I used all shades of red I had in my collection. It proved to be a difficult task and I wasn't entirely pleased with the outcome. But I'm happy with how I managed to render the texture of the glass. A bumblebee. During this period I created a lot of work centered around the issue of pollution. I was particularly passionate about using my art to raise awareness about the negative impact of pollution in our environment. I believe that as an artist, I can use my skills to create works that not only inspire but also make a positive impact on the world around us. croissant with chocolate. I'm not very satisfied with the final result. I think that at some point I got carried away with adding too many details and colors. I struggled with the piece towards the end, feeling lost and unsure of how to proceed. The next two pages in my sketchbook I dedicated to the materials I used back in 2019. I believe I created these pages for my YouTube or Instagram channel. And more materials from 2022. This page was created for a YouTube video showcasing the white markers and pens I used to add highlights to my drawings. This drawing has a story. It was a commission piece, I think, for bakery. They asked me to draw a logo for them and I made a few sketches that the company approved. However, when I was about to color the final outline, the client asked me to remove the chocolate heart. So I had to redraw the whole piece, placing the raspberry instead. The client was happy with the colors and design. But then, on this page, I had an outline of the same dessert. I forgot about it for a few years and I don't really feel like going back to it. When I drew the last sketch in this sketchbook, this incomplete page really bugged me. So I decided to color it and I added some jam to it, changed the bottom part. I really like it now. There are two or three years apart between these sketches. Which one do you think is better? The 2019 sketch or 2023 one? I really like these foil balloons. I drew them when I reached 10,000 followers on TikTok back in 2020. I started my TikTok during the COVID pandemic and I was drawing a lot of art at that time. My account was growing like crazy. At first I thought it would be challenging to draw these balloons because of the complex color combination and the highly reflective surface. But it turned out great and I'm still proud of this piece. It looks so realistic. And this is my least favorite drawing in this sketchbook. It also related to TikTok and I drew it to celebrate 50,000 followers. I used TikTok signature colors. This drawing is so bad. I do like the texture though. I added some splashes with white acrylic paint 
I don't know if you can see it. Nutcracker for the Christmas drawing and the pumpkin candle for Halloween. I started coloring this piece with a black marker, but halfway through it ran out of ink. And you can see that here. But I think this effect works really well in this drawing. This drawing was created with parkour markers. I've got a free set of cheap alcohol-based markers for the review. And this was the first drawing I made with those markers. I like this drawing, but I don't like the markers. The colors are kind of dull, and I struggled with blending them. It also faded away so much faster than my regular markers. If you haven't watched this video where I do my honest review on those markers, you can do it by clicking the link in the upper right corner right now. I've reached 100,000 followers on TikTok by the middle of 2021, and this drawing was dedicated to that. Some Easter related art with eggs and feathers. And then back to autumn. You can see how I jump from Christmas to spring and then back to autumn. I like this maple cupcake. It looks so yummy and juicy. This Christmas sketch is one of my favorites in this sketchbook. Even though I drew the background with those cheap markers, I like how it turned out with the bokeh effect. It looks so natural and just really good. And the cupcake is so cute. And the last drawing in this sketchbook, a cup of hot coca. Christmas time is really my favorite theme for drawing. And that's it. I hope you enjoy this sketchbook tour and I also hope it gives you a little bit of spark. Spark of inspiration. Thank you so much for watching and happy creating! See you in the next video!